Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jonathan McGrindle. This is Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Hey, this is Pastor Torrey Roberts. Hey, everybody. It's Ja'Kaylin Carr, and you're tuned in to Divine Discoveries. Divine Discoveries. Divine Discoveries with the great Bishop and Lady Owens. It's going to be a wonderful conversation. I pray that it blesses you. Don't touch that dial. God bless you, and welcome to another Divine Discoveries. Well, how are you doing tonight, Bishop? Well, I'm doing good. We're in a different location, Dr. Owens. We just got through with a very, very insightful uh, interview. It was a good time, wasn't it? Amen. We're we're going to do a second series on Behind the Music and to the Ministry. Okay. And I tell you, it was very delightful yes. to have this interview with this young man that we're bringing on. It's, Bishop, it's good for people just to be real, relaxed. And just tell us about the real them behind their careers. That's amazing, Dr. Owens, <laughs> because, I mean, this interview uh, came with an individual that's very sincere and transparent. I mean, to wear the hat of a bishop, a pastor, and a recording artist. Um, this was a very good interview. I think I think the people are really going to learn from this. You agree? I think they're going to really... And matter of fact, Bishop, I think they're going to enjoy his music even the more after really getting to know him yeah, oh, and how he really is. You know, he oh, um, good it's good to be gifted and have these different kind of gifts and God oh, has anointed you, but still can relate to the everyday people. That's what really people appreciate. There's more than what you hear singing or entertaining, but there's more behind the person where they came from. And most of them, Bishop, are just everyday people with gift that God has given them. And I think sometimes people forget this, what they really came out of. And you're not as high as you thought you were. Mm -hmm. But when you come down to the everyday person and who they are, you can relate to them more. Dr. Owens, that's, that's very insightful. That's, that's very, no, nah, that's, that's profound is that you really can get more from the message the music, and so on and so forth. That's right. Once you get to know the individual, that's the whole reason why in the Old Testament, God didn't just show you the great things that David did. He gave all about David. That impacts the Psalms. As you read the Psalms in the Bible, That's right. knowing David's life and background, it blesses you even more. Is that right? That's right. Because, Bishop, we admire the David that was... Uh, keeping the sheep more than we do David the king oh, now that's, that's something good. you want to aspire to but you can relate more to being in the sheep being in the background without the gifts and talents look how profound you are because honestly <laughs> it was not David the king that brought down Goliath it was David the shepherd boy that brought down Goliath that's right that is so so powerful knowing people where they came from from that background enhances so when we hear the music and you're going to introduce this person in a moment when you hear the music of this particular person, you actually can hear it even better being exposed to now what is called the ministry behind the music. That's is that right. right Dr. That's Owens? right. Wow. So we know you're going to enjoy this particular interview that we had. It was very, very, very inspiring. It's also informative. But it was also enjoyable. I yes, learned some things about the young man that uh, even made me take a second thought at things that I thought. But I really enjoyed the interview, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a blessing to everyone. Amen. So we're going to get ready for it. We're going to bring it on to you. Amen. And Dr. Owens is going to introduce to you exactly who this person is that we have been talking about. All right, let's check it out and find out who was our interviewee on Divine Discoveries. <laughs> God bless you. I'm Elect Lady Prophetess Owens, and this is our bishop here, Bishop Owens. How are you tonight, Bishop? The Lord is good and worthy of all praise. I'm good. Well, we are so excited to have a special guest on tonight. He has 20 years in ministry. He's the pastor of the ministry called The Tab, the Tab. and that's in Baltimore, Maryland. Yes. He is also a Stella Award winning gospel artist with chart topping hits such as I Am, Forever, and Residue. He is also a prominent figure in music along with his twin brother, Jonathan Nelson. Will you help me give a good, warm, God bless you welcome to Jason Nelson? God bless you. How are you tonight? 
I'm doing well. I have no complaints whatsoever. Thanks for having me on. Greetings to both of you all. Amen. Well, I love that start, Bishop. He said, mm-hmm. I have no complaints. Amen. Amen. It's good to look at life with Jesus and have no complaints. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, we want to get right into the interview. We appreciate him taking time to be with us. And um, good to get, have people that are yet uh, in tune with what God is doing as, what, as well as what's going on in the world. Amen. You know, Dr. Owens, it's fascinating to find out the message, the ministry uh, behind the music. That's right. Uh, we have a, a stellar uh, uh, artist with us today, and I'm just anxious to find out the message, the ministry <laughs> that is, uh, God has placed into this, this man. Uh, as you said, he's a pastor, he's a bishop, uh, he's a recording artist, but um, you can tell by his demeanor he is sincerely a brother. Amen. Amen. Bishop, again, 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 it's warm welcomes. It's so good to have you. Amen. Amen. So we we like to find out the person behind the music. And again, we know that you're uh, that you're on, not only have your pastoring, but you have three children, and along with your lovely wife, just ministering. But how has ministry? Uh, evolved with you still keeping that balance, I like to say, with the family. Are, are they all in ministry with you? No, well, first, I, I have two children. Um, I, I don't know about two. the third. <laughs> Please don't prophesy a third into my life. Okay, I, all I, right, I, all you right. You started with you being a prophetess. I, 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 I'm praying that that was just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, maybe like Bishop used to tell me, he said uh, his church was his third baby. Yeah. Of course. I'll take that. Yeah. But but un I, I can't say unfortunately. No, don't say unfortunately. Because uh, yeah. Bishop has always said he wanted three children, so mm-hmm. he had uh, Minister Ian, Minister Rachel, our oldest. But that third one ended up manifesting into a Josiah. Mm-hmm. So, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying it may manifest into, what can I say, more than you think. But do, are they all in the ministry with you? <laughs> I'm still trying to take all of that in. Um, my, <laughs> my my daughter, she's a she's 21 years old. She's in college right now, um, mm-hmm. but when she is home, she definitely does serve in ministry. Uh, my son is 15, and um, he serves in ministry, but only when I ask him to. He is your typical teenage young man <laughs> uh, into video games and computers and things of that yeah. ilk. Um, but um, they both absolutely love God. Um, And they both have a um, very, very uh, high God center and and God consciousness. And um, of that, I am absolutely appreciative. Well, good. I think it's so important not to force, but bring the children along with in the ministry with you. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, My my children, all three of them are in ministry with us. They're all ministers. And I think you met my oldest son, Emmanuel. I think so. uh, yeah, mm-hmm. he said, if I would have knew that mom, I would have been on with him. But he had uh, other appointments or just wanted to get himself just right for that. But I, I think it's good long to bring the family along with Amen. you. Amen. Amen. And uh, you certainly have a good Christian foundation. The fact that your ministry started with your parents and I understand that you uh, received the mantle from your dad. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah. So... Um, you know, and we're going to get into it, but it's just, you know, it's just funny. I'm I'm still kind of old school. I still watch TV. My kids are online people, but I'm still, but I saw you on, um, uh, with the Binions on TBN. I saw you there, oh, yeah. and it was, and it was funny because uh, you and your brother, with your sibling, <laughs> teasing one another, you had mentioned that growing up, how you all were just... So I guess family is just kind of rigid. My kids may say that about me, but you all end up sneaking out to a movie. We and did. of course, your your brother, being the innocent one that he is, said he had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but you just <laughs> twisted his arms and just forced him to go to this <laughs> movie theater that he didn't want to do. We had never gone to the movies, and Jason made me dip out on school early. And we snuck to the movie. <laughs> now, in the, the truth grade. is, I was an innocent one, and he was the one that convinced me <laughs> to leave school early. 
<laughs> so mm-hmm. I could tell uh, from that it kind of reminded me of sibling rivalry, and then you reminded him that he was on TV and he couldn't be telling untruths on TV. Well, that's <laughs> but, absolutely. Yeah. But that's where that's the last time I heard mm-hmm. you, so I had no idea a few weeks later I'd be sitting here talking with you. Wow. So, but anyway, let's get into the question, mm-hmm. Bishop. Well, I, th- I think the first one, uh, Bishop, I would like to, if I may, I would like to take you into um, marriage counseling for a minute. Okay. Now, what I mean, all right. Now, what, what I mean by that is when Dr. Owens and I uh, uh, perform marriage counseling for uh, a young couple coming in, this is one pat question we always ask the two of them. Now, I want to ask you the question that I would ask them. And the question we ask both of them uh, would be this. Tell me what is your your strength and what is your weakness? What is your positive and what is your negative? Oh, this is a great question, Bishop. Uh, I would say, let, let me do my weakness first. My weakness is I have a tendency to be flat emotionally. Wow. Um, so my, my, my empathy meter doesn't rise as high as it should. Uh, wow. I would say that's probably my greatest weakness. Um, and, um, you know, unfortunately, I've learned to exploit the fact that I'm not as empathetic <laughs> as I'm supposed <laughs> to be uh, or as I should be in certain regards. So I would say probably my, my, my biggest weakness is, um, I don't want to say a lack of empathy, but uh, I definitely am not empathetic enough. Mm-hmm. Um, what I would say is probably a, a strength is I have a really, really big heart. Um, uh-huh. I love hard. Um, I engage very, very easily. I trust easily. Um, and I think that is a, a, a benefit. Um, it, it leaves me up. It, it leaves me vulnerable to a large degree. Um, but I, I'm, mm-hmm. I just I'm built to believe you when you tell me something until you show me otherwise. Wow, that is uh, that's very introspective, and that is a very unique answer. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Bishop, let me ask you this: that uh, if 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 we can carry on just a minute in that, sure, in sure, that point, we're here. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, in that point of where you say you lack empathy, why? How has that? How has that played out as you pastor people? Well, you know what? What's interesting is uh, this is where my wife comes in handy. Um, mm-hmm. And she, you know, obviously she is um, my, my helpmate. Um, she co-pastors with me. And uh-huh. even before she had the title of co-pastor, she was the one that would nudge me like, ah, uh, you probably need to take another look at that. Um, yeah. Or you should look at that from a different perspective. Um, I'm also surrounded by staff who is very sensitive. Um, and they help me kind of navigate those spaces. And the, and the thing is, once I know that I probably need to be more sensitive, then I can lock in and do all of the things that I need to do. Um, but in general, um, I lean more towards logic than I do emotion. And um, I, think, I think that is strategically advantageous as a leader. Um, but that one empathy piece is where, you know, I, as a shepherd, we have to. 